Look, people yeah. came to look. Everybody yeah. came. No, from all over Goa. Yeah. So over my Goa. father actually studied here, and he used to sing at the Panjim Church yes. when he was a little boy. Lyceum, Lyceum. Yeah, Lyceum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he probably ended up here also. Who knows? He, uh, very I, possible. Very possible. Be, yeah. Only from few places, two or three. Yeah, yeah. If not here, Aliyad. So yeah. my father used to run another place yeah, called Aliyad, yeah, 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 which yeah. is just next door. Oh, right. And when it was run by my mother. So, my goodness. So besides the river navigation department, we had the taxi stand, which is also just across the street, and we had the bus stand. So these three places, they were the crew of the of the boats which used to ply all over Goa. Wherever there was a village by the side of a river, the boats used to go all the way there. To Aldona, right to Aldona. Aldona, right to Motuli. Wow. Our yeah. produce, some of our produce came from Mopsa by boat. Yeah. Because it came right here right next here. door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the boats that used to ply in the evening to take the people back after work, yeah. they would wait in the village for the overnight and bring them in the morning back to work. So we had these three things happening. So the crew of those three places, so the taxi drivers, yeah. bus drivers, yeah. and the navigation crew, they all came here at 10 o'clock in the morning to have a soup. Uh, what soup? What soup? Uh, that day, those days it was called sopa grosser. Sopa grosser was heavy soup, heavy. It's a broth, so broth. you have that soup. Filling. You know, you're ready for the day. You can take on every day. Yeah, take yeah. on the day. So just make a big cauldron like that. Really? It used to be 50 paisa of soup. Per plate? Per soup. Per soup. So everybody would come for soup here. So besides them, of course there were other people who yeah. also came in. So it, it was so very... So talking about 19... Fifties, uh, fifties, before, before, yeah, before liberation, forties oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, and so okay. on. And um, so it was very interesting. For example, all the clergy in those days they used to wear on the white coat, Vestments, on the yeah. vest, vestment, they used to wear another brown one uh, because they all were parish priests in villages, and in, in villages there was no tar road; there were still mud roads. So in order to keep the white cassock white, they used to wear another. <coughs> Uh, uh, cassock on top. So they came here to the restaurant because the laundry man also came to the oh, restaurant. Right. Okay. And the, the laundry man used to collect all the clothes. And the yeah. laundry man had been coming and made it from his yeah, father's yeah, time. Yeah. After he made some would come and collect them. Yeah. So things like that. So uh, things like yeah, that. Actually. And uh, oh, sorry. Um, uh, so what you are doing? So, so we are recreating a little bit of that atmosphere. How? Uh, 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 yeah. Go, 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 go. Uh, to begin with, so old Goa, yeah, from uh, from 1500 onwards, old Goa, the most important thing that happened in old Goa was a ship building. Oh. Yeah, a ship, uh, the, 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 because the boats, the Portuguese. Uh, uh, sailing ships they used to sail everywhere, all over the world, wherever the Portuguese colonies were. And Goa was slowly getting established. Goa was slowly getting established as the seat of the Portuguese for uh, all their colonies. So most of the boats finally would come for repairs and things over here. Then later on, somewhere in 1600. They started having a very uh, difficult uh, period because of hygiene, mm. and there was a plague and so on in all of that. That's right. We heard about that from uh, Luis Manuel. Uh, yeah. So his grandfather was responsible for eradicating the plague. I didn't know there was a plague. That's right. Right. One of many plagues. One of many plagues. Okay. So during that time, the missionaries they started looking for a they started looking for a place to. As an alternative, so they built they built the first longest bridge causeway in the marshes between the land of Olga and and Tanjim. Ah. But Tanjim, of course, was a part of the village of Taligaon. There is no yeah. such thing as Tanjim. Yeah, yeah. And so the old bridge that you will see yeah. is a part of the longest causeway built. It's about three and a half kilometers long. Built at that time. Yeah. So all the material from Olga which could be salvaged was brought to this part. And the first Latin quarter in Tanjim was Sao Tome, Sao Sebastião. Is this Sao Tome? Yeah. 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 Y
Van Ruit. This is Miranda's. Miranda's, but why it's here? I'll tell you for two reasons. One is because this tavern actually is identical to a tavern that existed behind my house in Divar. I can almost name you the characters. Of course, you're from Divar. Yeah. <laughs> All the business. <laughs> they've colonized the full street. They've colonized the street. From Divar, oh, they've colonized the full street. So, and this is a bar. It used to be in Penjim, and I can tell you this is which road, bar? Which bar? By Capuchina. Capuchina. Ah. Where they used to sit on the roadside and Capuchina foreign style, point. but on the roadside. No, no, yeah, on the footpath. Footpath. Capuchina is today what is it? Petisco. Ah, oh yes, yes, yes. I but that is this is a huge place. So they came from here. So this was Obrish Publis. This is P W D. Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa. No, this is the. Oh P W D next door. Unfortunately, they've gone and broken this building down. <coughs> to make, to make place for a building which is going to be the office of the city how smart are they to break yeah, down something yeah, which in their dreams they were going to be able to build again the kind of workman ship that artisan ship over there it's impossible for them ever to and in spite of that so this bridge basically you can see a block cut going across yeah, yeah. it goes right up to ribanda all right so ribanda is yeah, called ribanda yeah. because yeah. right is right ribanda yeah. ribanda is the port port for the kings Now the thing is, this oh, really? yeah, as in rage. It's all built in. No, not rage. Hindu, Hindi word. Right, right. There is, you see, there is a lot of very similarities. similarities. Yeah. yeah. So unfortunately, in the middle here, there was a tombstone, a not <coughs> tombstone, but a, a a stone. What do you call them? With inscriptions, when you have a stone, you know, mm-hmm. there's a name for it. Uh, anyway, yes, so uh, there was a period when marker. you know all the Portuguese things were being done away with, and I think they just. Sort of pushed it down in the river. I see. Like I see. It had the whole inscription about the bridge. I see. So this picture is actually the navigation department. This is what has been broken down today. It's become the casinos. 
and this is the bus stop that you, was there. Yeah, yeah. And this is the taxi stop. Oh, yeah. So, and these are the boats. Here you can see this is called the gasoline. Yeah. This is called the vapor. This gasoline, vapor. They all used to go to the villages. You can see here one coming in. Yeah. So it's good. And here you can see the commuters on the jetty. Where did you find these? Ah, uh, some, some friends. Professional secret. Uh, some old friends. A lot of them on the internet. So here you can see all the village produce being coming in here. Rice and various from different villages. This is just opposite on the riverside. I remember Opposite this. our road. Yeah. So our I own boys go and just pick it up and bring. Yeah, yeah. So everything came by river. Here some of them, you know, you can see steamship, steamboats, which is to go further up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring tiles from Mangalore yeah. and so on. Yeah. The same bus stop and the same taxi stand you can see here. This is the taxi stand. Okay. And this is the bus stop. So oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Right. And the and dhoti. Good, and some of them in, with a solar dhoti. Yeah. So this Aliyan is where my father father's restaurant was. Okay. Yeah. And here in the corner today is Vihar. This was called Saldana uh, Photograph uh, Studio. Okay. Vihar. Uh, so where, where they had all these cameras with bellows yeah. and you know, capes so and all. So this, this big uh, name now that we have Latin Quarter, this never existed. Yes. No, somebody bought it in Latin quarter basically would would mean uh, uh, Portuguese po influenced. Po Portuguese, uh, you know. So this is for tourists, really. So it's Fontaine. It's no, but what happened? See, people yeah. have accepted also, no, because yeah. it's the most. See, it's unfortunately, <coughs> what happened? The whole of Panjim was Latin. Yeah. So what was left became a quarters. <laughs> One quarter. <laughs> exactly, One quarter. something like that. <laughs> Not even a quarter. Yeah. Amazing. So this picture yeah. over here. Is where today are, are all the high rise. Uh, your in this Pato, Pato. Pato. Not a single building here. This was just in 1960. Yeah. So that entire marshland has been has been uh, filled up. On, so yeah. I don't know how many hills they must have destroyed. Yeah. And because of that, I don't know how many thousands of hectares of good alluvial cultivable land yeah. has got waterlogged. Yeah. Further down, the, yeah. in the village of uh, Mercedes and uh, Santa Cruz and so on. Uh, so it's, it's, they talk about the Mandoji drying up. No, that will that will for two reasons. One is because the mate, the source, is being diverted, and the second reason is because of the deforestation. So if you go inside the river, there are islands which are forming, which used to never be there at all. Yeah. So things like that. What's this? I'll tell you. So just a minute. So these two photographs are taken, this one is taken from the hill on the other side of the bank of the river and this one is taken from the hill on this side of the bank wow. of the river. So in either case, you can see that there is no concrete at all, no yeah. concretization at all until 1960. So uh, uh, I can see why all these he wanted things. to know why these ores are here. These are made of balsa wood and they are the best ores to have for a dinghy. Because a dinghy is generally used if a ship starts to sink. And these oars never, they're so light that they can never sink in any way. They will, they will literally float flat. Mm -hmm. uh, so that used to be the ship that used to go to Bombay. Bombay I was, say that, that's yeah. like so Bombay I was in college there. in Bombay, so I go sometimes maybe five, six times a year. Yeah. Did they sport cars? No. No. Okay. But okay. it was a floating picnic. Oh, okay. For 53 rupees. <laughs> there was there was uh, jackfruit and uh, name it. Uh, oh, wow. Guitars. Yeah. Just, just amazing. Everything yeah. that you could think of. Mm -hmm. And how often did it run? Every single day. So you had a ship leaving from Bombay and a ship from Goa oh. that met in the night uh, yeah. and they would yeah. blow whistles to signal. And oh, it was a great yeah. time and everybody got very elated. Yeah. So you had a tambola and you had a canteen. Oh, inside. I can only really imagine how much fun that so was. I So I got to know a lot of the crew when they became good friends and you can see the dinghies over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at some point some fellow gave me these oars. I had four of them. So they're actually from the from the from I see. Or really? or <coughs> So this ferry boat is probably the last ferry boat that uh, or first ferry boat that took people to Diwan. 
and you can see those little ladders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to lift. You have to lift them with some kind of hooks. Yeah. yeah. And put them on this side of the, on the valve, on the ramp. Yeah. And then your car will not come out. Do the same thing on the, on other, the other side. side. Right, right, right. So, right. but you can see the fellows working. They have to be in mariners' uniforms. Yeah. On either yeah. side, you can see yeah, those yeah, guys yeah, did yeah, the lifting. Yeah. yeah. And you, you can see probably some official was crossing. Yeah, and yeah, nice car. And so yeah. on. Yeah. And now the mast lamp on that ferry is here. Oh, oh wow. gosh! It's a tin made, tin made. Uh, Why? Goodness, you're a museum, yeah. Ferry deteriorated there on the back. Yeah. And lot of everything was taken away, especially the brass parts and all. And this was completely gone. They were like metal and muck and everything. Nobody even knew that it was there in the muck. Really? At some point, I managed to salvage that. Wow. wow. That is the that is the port side of the same ferry. Mm -hmm. Like the red one and the green one is the starboard side. Wow. Really? My so goodness. the ceiling, the, the steering over here is the steering of the ferry. Oh my yeah. goodness, you managed to do that. They used to use on the ferries, so that the canoes and everything, so it knew that there was, there was a lot of wind in my yeah, ceiling. Yeah, yeah. And, and the ceiling that you see here, this is European oak, which is taken from the Soviet ships. So now, did your grandfather put this in? Or it no, this, yeah. Yeah, around grandfather's time. Uh, somebody, uh, Man, I know this is built on a marsh, but I don't think this thing is so solidly built. No, no wonder it grows the stronger it grows. Because the materials they get better as as they age. Yeah. Lime and mud put together. Yeah, stronger. Like churches stronger. and all. Yeah. There's no rust yeah. taking place. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Concrete so, was never meant for me. So a city like Berlin has 300 museums. This is going to be one more. And yeah. it'll, be, it'll be a, a you know, old Goa ferry museum or something like that. <laughs> so, so why this, not? Why not? This I've named Althori and Kultori. This is this side of the river and that is this, that stranger side and this exactly opposite to each other. People. Have you been to the, the Serendipity uh, uh, post office? Uh, no, not yet. Go there and see what is known as a camera obscura. Mm. So camera, for example, is a word which actually is almost taken from uh, many different languages. So cam camera or uh, camera means room. Yeah. Yeah. So, camera. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. camera is actually a box, which oh, is actually yeah, a room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. That's Hindi, isn't it? And yeah. that's a that's a, a principle of uh, photography. That basically it is. Uh, optical light uh, transmission of an image. So that is very beautifully shown. Yeah. It's just amazing. It's just amazing that even color, let's even let's. color can, 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 can it, it, you have the entire outside on the wall mm. and you think that it's probably portrayed digitally or something like that, which is not. So these bottles are a various period. So I put one more period before this. Those will come on the wall at the back. Okay. Those are about 200 years old and I can't afford putting them here. Wow. Those are actually amphoras. They are all made of only clay. Amphoras. There's no glass in it. They're made of this, what? Just clay. Clay, clay. 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 But these have got glass and clay in them. Oh, I see. So which ones are only? I'm going to put them here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Them, them Louis, here. my friend uh, Francis Barnetto, he actually has a collection of bottles. You must see his. Amazing. I did an interview with him. I'll send you the link. Huh? Yeah. I'll put you in touch. <coughs> No, you, uh, he he has a collection. He wants to start a museum. He doesn't have a space for it. Lutoli in Saligao, sorry. Lutoli. Not Lutoli. Sorry, he he is based in Sangye. He has a farm there, but he's from Saligao. Mm. I'll put you in touch. So yeah, we'll be putting them shortly. After amazing, this. amazing. So when amazing. you start this place, probably first week. See, I don't have a deadline. And if you if you take more of his time, it's going to become second week. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. For anything because we are going to Why why make things which stressful? Get get disappointed about. No, why why make enjoyable things stressful? I agree with you fully on that point. <laughs> Having said that, thanks a ton for this lovely no, no, tour. Come, no, come.